Hello and welcome back to another EBS video. Subscribe now and don't miss the next one. Yet again, we are going into the world of USB connections, specifically the difference between USB-A and USB-C. Whether you're in the market for a new flash drive or just curious, this video will help you understand the two connections. For more details, be sure to check out the original blog post linked in the description. Let's get started with the differences between USB-A and USB-C. USB, which stands for Universal Serial Bus, has been around for decades. It's the standard for connecting and powering peripheral devices, and you're probably most familiar with USB-A, the classic rectangular port. But did you know there are actually several types of USB connections? There's USB-A, USB-B, mini-USB, micro-USB, and now USB-C. Now, USB-C is a game changer. It's smaller, more powerful, and unlike USB-A, it's reversible. No more flipping your flash drive three times to get it right. USB-C also has a lot more pins, 24 pins compared to USB-A's 9, allowing it to support faster data transfer and higher power delivery. The biggest difference between USB-A and USB-C is the shape. Type A is rectangular, while Type C is smaller and has rounded corners like a flattened oval. USB-C isn't just about convenience, it's about speed too. While both USB-A and USB-C can support USB 3.2, only USB-C can handle the latest 20 gigabits per second speeds. And it is likely that any future updates with USB 4 and beyond will only come to USB-C. When it comes to compatibility, USB-C is becoming the new standard, found in everything from smartphones to laptops to action cameras, drones, and more. However, USB-A is still widely used in many devices today like computers and printers, especially ones found in offices. So what does the future hold? USB-A isn't going away just yet, but USB-C is clearly leading the charge in modern technology. In fact, some newer laptops only come with USB-C ports. As we move forward, USB-C is most likely going to become more prevalent. Most modern day phones are all switched over to USB-C. So that's a quick look into the differences between USB, and USB-C. If you want to dive deeper, make sure to check out the full blog post linked below. Don't forget to subscribe and get notified when the next video comes out. If this video is a benefit to you, share it with someone else. Thanks for watching.